Hi, I'm Clay Allison with the Wicked Edge. I'm just finishing up a touch-up on this Tohiro Santoku knife. Um, this is a great collaboration, a knife that Mark Richmond from Chef Knives to Go sent me. And uh, it's a really neat, uh, beautiful knife. It's uh, clad steel with a VG10 core that's been hardened to 61 Rockwell. And what I found with the knife is that it's got great balance, it's very agile in the hand, and it takes and holds a phenomenal edge. The way I the way I sharpened this before I took it home and used it was to reprofile it completely with our Nano Chosera line of stones. And so those water stones, um, together with a super sharp angle of 12 degrees, put an edge on this knife that is just a, a beauty to behold and a beauty to work with. And um, so I did a couple days worth of dinner prep with this knife and I brought it back into our studio now to uh, just touch it up and then uh, show you the knife a little bit and demonstrate it for you. So, after working with the water stones, I've moved on to the strops. The progression of the grits that I used in sharpening it were starting with the 400 grit, then the 600, 800, 1000, 2000, 3000, 5000, and 10,000 grit Nanawa Chosera water stones. From there, I went to 1 micron, half micron, uh, and then quarter micron, and then eighth micron on the leather strops. So the first three strops that I used, the, the, the one, half, and quarter, were diamond sprays from Hand American. And then the last one, the eighth micron, was a CBN cubic boron nitride spray that we get from Ken Schwartz at Precise Sharpening. So that's this last set of strops that I'm using here. And I think if we zoom in really close, we can see just the level of uh, polish that the edge has achieved with all those stones. Let's see here. That should work pretty well. You can see it's just a beautiful polish. Maybe we can shine a little bit of light on it so you can see it better. You can see the reflectivity now along the edge. And um, I'm going to perform on it, hopefully, a test here called the hanging hair test. And after using it for a few days and then touching it up with the straps, I'm hoping that I can just take this hair right here and without any tension on it, just slice it right off, which it did very nicely. You try and get do it again so it falls the right way. There we go. So uh, it's a very nice, gentle way to test to see if your knife is actually screaming sharp. And in this case, it is. It just really slices cleanly right through that hair, and um, and doesn't do any damage to the edge. So. Anyway, I'll pop this thing out of the sharpener and we'll take a look at what it does to a piece of paper as well. Anyway, so this is a beautiful knife. It's just got great balance, great feel to it. Uh, I know it's great steel. This is the DP series for the um, Tohiros. And we'll see what it does with our usual paper test as well. So that's beautiful. That's one of the cleanest slices through a piece of paper I've ever had the opportunity to do. It's just awesome. So again, this is the Tohiro from Chef Knives to Go, and it's been sharpened on the Wicked Edge using the Nano Chosera water stones, and then four different sets of strops, uh, well, most of them from Hand American, and the last one is a CBN strop from Precise Sharpening. And that's the Tohiro.